same as usual, uh, I like to know exactly how thick the pattern is before I trim. So uh, I use my measuring tool. It's my invention to uh, measure the uh, from the top of the the ruler to the wheel head, and then uh, it, it's the reading is one nineteen. Okay, one nineteen. And uh, pull out. Measure the center. And it's one o six. Okay. So 119 minus 106, it's 13. So I know exactly how thick the bottom is. It's about 13. It's about half a inch, a little bit less than half a inch to uh, to go. So uh, I know uh, how much I could cut it. Okay, 13. So I will cut the 10, 10, millimeters, 10 millimeters deep okay, for the bottom. Tap center, put my hand here, slightly tap. Okay, and then uh, use a clay coil to anchor it down. So first I will use my carbide number three, okay, carbide number three to do all the heavy lifting and then uh, just make sure that the corner looks nice. I will change to my number two uh, carbide tool. Uh, since I have been using the uh, carbide tool, uh, it's, it's a game changer. I, I don't need to uh, resharpen it as often. Actually, I have it's been um, more than uh, half a year. I haven't uh, resharpened yet. Okay, so and make sure that the, um, this the carbide is very hard material. So um, when you trim. You don't want to trim it too wet, okay? The carbide tool can you can even use the carbide tool to trim the bone dry clay, even the big square. So uh, you want to trim it a little bit harder. Otherwise, your tool is easy to uh, get stick. The clay is easy to stick on your tool. Right, so after I explain everything, um, I will put down the uh, time less more so you can still see the, the whole process, but uh, you don't need to uh, uh, stick too much time watching the slow motion.
All right, so this is the finished part, finished bowl. Uh, this is about uh, a little bit less than three and a half pounds. And um, I uh, wait till the right time and do a very careful trimming. Um, after that, I put the uh, chattering texture here and here. Different spot of uh, my number one uh, chattering tool. This is my number one chattering tool. And also, there's a, it's hard to see, there's a vertical, very fine chattering mark right here. I put the chattering mark right here. It's hard to see it, but uh, there's a chattering mark. So I put three different kinds of a chattering mark. Um, using number one and also I was using my um this is my number of uh actually I was using this the uh, number um six okay the uh straight edge of the number six and the uh, special design of this tool is that the uh handle is a little bit flexible so when you uh, trim, it's easy to get the uh, chattering mark. And if you don't want the uh, chattering mark, you have to hold the, uh, the tool a little bit different, okay? Using different part of a uh, tool to cut it. If you use more away from the uh, corner here, uh, the tool tend to vibrate easier. If you use more of the uh, the part nearby the corner, it's the tool is a little bit firmer, so that you won't get the chattering mark. So, you have to practice, okay, practice. So that's the uh, the ball of uh, cheddar mark. All right, hope this demonstration help and uh, make a good ball. See you next time.